Hi, my name's Adam. I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. In this week's question, I've been asked how we can create a simple equation within SOLIDWORKS. So, I've got a model open here that might work quite well as an example. I'd like to take these holes here and position them so that they're in the center between the outside edge and the inside or the outside edge of this boss just here. And I'd like the holes to be positioned equally between that area. Now, if we were to create an equation inside of the software, we'd need to use both of these values. If I double click on this figure, you'll see that this dimension's name is hub underscore od at sketch one. And if we were to create an equation as things are at the moment, it would actually use that text within the equation. And you can imagine that if you've got a few dimensions to use, that things can easily get quite long. So I've got a tip. A good idea is to create global variables for each one of these items. If we type in equals, we can then click and give it a name. I'll call this one A, and I'll click this button. If we then hit the tick, the item is equal to A, and then we can create this second one, do the same thing, and we can make that equal to B. So I've now created two global variables, and that that will then be used within my equation. So for this dimension I can just type in equals again to start creating my equation. I can then do equals and select my global variable A. I can add it to B and close brackets and then I can just do divided by 2. If I hit the tick on that one, it then gives me a new figure, and all I've got to do now is rebuild the model. You see that's perfectly worked itself out within here. If I then increase any one of these figures, and again rebuild the model, we'd find that the holes automatically position themselves in the right place. Once you create an equation within the software, you can access them from this equations window on the left. You can simply right click to manage equations. It will bring up this box and you, then you can make changes to both A and B, but also the equations that we've already got in there at the bottom. Thanks very much for watching.